So in this video, we are going to be looking at the antiderivative of two cosine cubed of x times sine of x to the 10th dx. Now, uh, this suggests a u substitution problem where I would like to uh, let u be either sine or cosine, and then either sine, the other trig function would be du. However, there are just too many cosines and sines. But what, I, what we do know is that we can substitute cosines for sines or vice versa in pairs via a Pythagorean identity. And so I just need either one cosine or one sine uh, to serve as du. And since there are an odd number of cosines, I'm going to let that be uh, what's going to be du. So what I note is that I can rewrite this as, uh, well, pull a two out, cosine of x times, and now what we have here is cosine squared x, sine to the 10th x, dx. Now this cosine squared of x, that's rewritable as two cosine of x, one minus sine squared of x, using the Pythagorean identity. Sine to the 10th x dx, and with a little bit of rewriting, I'm going to say that that's sine to the 10 x dx minus sine to the 12th x dx, so all sine stuff, and then cosine of x dx. All right, now as promised, cosine makes for a natural uh, du, so what u should likely be then is sine of x, and then du would be cosine of x dx. Where there's cosine of x dx, there's a bunch of u's here, and so this whole deal gets written as 2u to the 10th minus u to the 12th du, which is 2u to the 11th over the 11th minus 2u to the 13th over 13 plus c. And finally, substituting back in our choice for u, that's 2 sine to the 11th of x over 11 minus 2 sine to the 13th of x over 13 plus c. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.